Hi, I'm Marna, and this is the Dolls Rescue Channel, and I'm taking Gail. She has her name on her um, pull strings. This is a four inch Blythe doll from AliExpress. I do face ups on them, and then Darren, God love him helping me in my hobby, um, adds pull strings and redoes the eyes so that they are they open and close like a blight doll you can give them sleepy eyes um, I did the face up on her I'm taking her to a train show today but I wanted to say last year we started and we're going we're going to finish this up we started um, giving away to one of our subscribers, our active subscribers, those that come watch our videos, leave a like, leave a comment. Um, we started mailing out one of these little girls with a stand and everything. Darren makes all kinds of things uh, for these little dolls and I sew for them. Well, that was the problem. My machine, my sewing machine started gobbling the clothes and some other things happened that time just got away. So we have, what is it, 10 more, Darren, of these to do? Do you remember? I don't know. It seems like never-ending. <laughs> Endless. <laughs> and we have, I think, what, four ready or six ready to go. And then we have, um, I think, five more that just need to be put back together. Let me tell you, this these dolls take a lot of time. We have, oh, I bet we have what? five to seven hours in each one easily. Oh yeah. Easily, probably 10 hours by the time we do the face up and we fiddle with this. This is fiddly work. Anyway, so we are headed to a train show today, but I wanted to show a close up of Gail because you'll be seeing her today. There are a lot of people here today. It looks like it's going to be a big show and we are really looking forward to it.
shut her eyes. I customized her and her little legs bent. I'll send that to her. We are back from the train show and I've got some stuff I want to show you, but I do want to tell you that we have a little girl here that does not have a home. I showed these earlier and her, her, her beads are not on, her box is not filled, but we're gonna do this one as a hidden giveaway to one of my active subscribers and put the word many in a sentence in a comment, but there could be other words to put in that same sentence. Let me show you what I got. Before we went in, they had um, these postcards in the lobby, and it just said fill them out and put them in this mailbox, which was right there, and they would do the rest. And I thought, well, surely they're free then because there's not a stamp or anything on there, and it promotes St. Charles. I did not get much at this show, but Darren did. Wait till you see what all he has. I bought Rex a couple things. These people are, they're HO, right, Darren? Yeah. HO size? Okay, I thought they'd be perfect for Rex and his little train set. Even though they're too big for his train set, still cute for him to have. And oh my God, wait. So those were three for a dollar, which was cheap enough. Wait to see what I got here. Oh my God, I got two of these. I should have got five. Should have got every different one they had. I like the little container, although. Just don't break your fingernails. Doesn't seem like I'm not going to get it up. Look at this. This guy rides a tiny bike. And so does. If I can get this one open. There we go. So does this guy, how cool. And Darren and I have bright yellow, well, we have a lot of bikes, but one set that we have are 29 inch um, mountain bikes are very yellow. So I got these guys. I thought these would be cute for Rex, just a little fun. These were $1 each. I thought it was a steal. Like I said, I should have got every color they had next time I will if I ever see this one thing about a train show it's like a doll show if if you don't buy it when you see it you may never see it again then I ran into Mike if you remember him I met him at a uh, I think it was the last train show we went to or time before and uh, I was walking around with a neo sized Blythe and he said Excuse me, are those the dolls where you pull the string and their eyes change? And I said, yes, it's a black doll. And he said, my, my friend collects those. My girlfriend collects those. And uh, we started talking. Well, anyway, I stopped by his booth because he wanted to take a picture of Gail. Gail, stand up. Ah, stand her up in her little stand. Anyway, I bought a train whistle from him. I want to use this. Darren and I are, um, what, hosts of the um, marathon that goes by our house. How far is that? It's a half marathon. Half marathon. It's a 13.2 or whatever it is. Yeah. We are almost to the end. We are one mile up from the end where they turn around. So these people have already ran 11 miles. 11 miles. So when we see them coming down the Katy Trail, we set up in our driveway. You know, we take bells out and I, you know, in, all the encouragement I can and distraction to, to reset their brain. Um, so we ring bells and I have my dolls set up and we give them candy and water and whatever. Um, so this year I want to set up a train and use this to distract them. Wait till you see what Darren got. So, I got some things for G-Scale. As we said before, we're working on our Garden Railroad, trying to accumulate track mostly. When we walked into this show, the first thing that caught our eyes was this booth had all kinds of, lots, this place was crowded. And uh, it was hard to see much of anything. But this booth there had a bunch of uh, G-Scale track. This is the outdoor LGV stuff. Uh, great stuff. Um, I think there's, 
This box here, it's, somebody had painted it, and then there's two boxes here. One's clear full and the other one's not clear full. There's one missing from it, or two missing. So there's 12 and 10, I think, is, and then another 12 here. So all in all, great amount of track, got a good deal on it. I think we ended up paying about $2 a piece for it, which is not as great as the 50 cents a foot we paid at the, the, the one show, but normally this stuff goes for about five dollars a foot so still a great deal and we were we had to keep our hand on it while we were trying to get attention from the dealer because other people were interested in it and trying to snatch at it as well so we almost had to beat them off and this guy also had a bunch of cars and they were some of them were really well priced uh, this is kind of an old style uh, passenger car and that's kind of the model the era I like to model anyway the old steam engines and the uh, uh, passenger cars and, and freight cars this one's a, a little bit newer kind of style but it is a, um, uh, a stock car and they don't use those much anymore in fact I don't know if they use them at all anymore for hauling uh, livestock mostly cattle um, kind of between the era when they used to have the big cattle drives from uh, North Dakota to South or Kansas to Texas and, and the like uh, and then they hauled them with freight and now they just butcher them right on site and haul them by truck anyway um, so we got these I think we paid uh, twenty dollars a piece for those which is a fabulous price um, so we did really good uh, with these and just set these here and then we're still working on our little indoor um, end scale track that sits underneath the TV, uh, kind of holiday and, and like. We picked up some switches, which is the one thing we didn't have a lot of. Those got a great price on those. I think we paid less for all four than what it cost to buy one normally. And uh, also I got some cork board, which the wife didn't, Marna didn't know I was looking for it. Um, this is basically what they use to put underneath the track to kind of simulate that road bed and then you can sprinkle some little granules or rock kind of thing, sand basically to make it look like your base. So we did good. We got a lot of things that were on the list and the hunt will continue. Before I go on, I wanna give you the second word to use in for the hidden giveaway and that is Walmart, where we stopped on the way home and I can't wait to show you what, what I did get, remember me saying, uh, I'm not going to buy any more Rainbow High Dolls. I have way too many as it is. Well, you know, unless they're on sale. So we went to, we were going to go to some other Walmarts, and we didn't on the way home. It was warmer yesterday, and we needed to get milk. So we waited for our own, and I'm so glad we did. Let me see who was the first one I found. Um, this is not, yeah, this is the first one I found. And she has been $19. And I had an idea of something to do with her for a video. And I kind of thought about doing it as a collab. Anyway, she was marked, what is it, $14.25? However, I went around the corner and I saw this doll. And... And they only had one of these. I wish they would have had three of her. But I saw her. And these dolls were marked $11. Um, so I got the other two thinking if I did a collab, I could send a couple out or one anyway. Um, I have a real idea for this one. Although I've kind of changed my mind. I'm thinking of uh, something else. I'm always thinking. I have no idea. When I do collabs, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I just have these ideas. Sometimes my ideas come very late. And then um, she also rang $11, and they had one more. So, you know, in case I do a collab or get another idea... I went ahead and got her. You know, for $11, you couldn't buy the dress that they have on. Um, you know, you could buy those outfits for your Blythe dolls if you wanted to. For $11, the outfit that she has on is, you'd never touch it for that. And then you have the second outfit, 
And then the doll. Oh my goodness, what a great deal. Thank you for watching the Dolls Rescue Channel. Don't forget your two words for the hidden giveaway. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.